Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2, playing as Karak Kadrin on the Mortal Empires campaign, and this is episode 10, and where we left off last time, we had just been attacked by the rebellion group of the Bloody Spears at Mount Gunbad. Should be a great battle, so buckle up those seatbelts. <laughs> Cause that's not cheesy. <laughs> but it should be good, honestly. Honestly, just believe me, it's going to be good. <laughs> okay. Let's get everyone back first of all. Let's just see what this looks like. Okay. Definitely need some defense here. There's some great weapon quarrelers here and here. Regular quarrelers. Um, is that even worthwhile? I don't know. It is a reckoning. They don't look like they're going to come that way, do they? Let's put them here. You know what? We'll get both the towers with this one. And then... Who have we got left? That's all our quarrelers. we got some thunderers. Gonna put them. One unit of thunder is here. One unit of thunder is here. Probably end up moving them back. No problem. That'll be no problem later on. Right, let's put our long beards over here. Oh no. We don't have a lord. That's a fatal flaw in the plan. So we must make sure we keep the Thunderers, because they're amazing at taking out Lords. We must make sure that those Thunderers get the opportunity to shoot on the Lord. Uh, let's have the Grudge Thrower over here. That looks good. Right there, that's a good angle for him. Uh, these Longbeards with great weapons will destroy these Night Goblins, I'm hoping. Well, they're warriors, but it's fine. It's fine either way. So we're going to get quite a lot of resistance here, so I'll put another dwarf warrior up here. But what we'll do, as soon as they get close, we'll pull the archers down off the walls and shoot up into them and try and have the these warriors as close to the left-hand side as possible, these guys as close to the right-hand side as possible, so that we sort of create a killing box here where the archers can just go crazy. So that is the plan. Um... Who have we got left? We've got a group of warriors here. Let's just have... So we need to deal with these towers. So we'll have one unit of warriors here and one here. That's fine. I'm quite fine with that. They've got a rock lobber as well. I've got to be conscious of that. That is going to hurt us. Although, is it in... Hopefully it's within tower range. Hopefully we can take it out with a couple of these towers. That would be good. And we still have four melee units left, so you know what? I'm just going to put them near the gate. One on the gate. The other one is going to go over here as well. And then one miner here. Sorry, one miner here, one miner here. And that looks good. Okay. We cannot afford to lose this at all, so uh, wish me luck. Here we go. Yes, it can. Take out the Goblin Rock Lobber. Pronto, please. That's a waste of ammo. Fire on the Goblin Spears there. Fire on the... Fire on the Orc Arrow Boys. Let's see what you're firing at. Fire at the uh, Wolf Riders. Do I have no one on the gate here? I just realized I have no one on this gate. Let's move you over here. Just in case they break through this gate. Miners to back them up. That looks good to me. Let's get these rock lobbers dead. Because they are definitely going to hurt. If given half a chance. Okay, those wills are gone already. Let's fire on those arrow boys. 
Let's pull you down. Pull you down. Ouch. Here we go. Get over here. Get into here. And let's do this. That should work for them. And that should work for them. Should be very nice. How are we looking? Everything's looking good. Let's shove these thunderers over here just to finish off these wolves. If for nothing else, just for the casualties we'll get from the... Um, what are you guys doing? Should be firing on them. Okay, they're doing a good job. <clears throat> okay, fire on these night goblins. Firing on the wrong ones, guys. <laughs> Think of my perfect positioning and you're not taking advantage of it. How are the gates doing? Have they got anyone on the gates? They have got forest goblin spider riders. Spider riders. What are you firing at? Let's have you fire at... Okay, they're already breaking. Wow. I didn't expect it to be that effective, to be honest. Let's fire over there. And then what have we got here, archer-wise? So they're doing a good job of just taking these guys out, but that's not really necessary. Let's get you guys back here. These guys are struggling a little bit. Let's move over here. No, no, come off. Come off the wall, please. I did not want you to get engaged in melee there. That's for damn sure. Okay, those goblin rock lobbers are almost gone. On this side, we're doing fantastic at holding these. Although, I don't know where these... Oh, these, are, these guys are the routing goblins. Okay, we need to make sure they don't come back. That's really important. Oh, these guys aren't on guard mode? That's silly. I thought they were. Okay, fire on them. Uh, no, fire on these guys, sorry. And fire on these. Uh, these gunners, what can we do with them? Let's move them over here. Okay, here we go. This is perfect. Line up there and then shoot into the back of these goblins. Should be ideal. Rock lovers are almost gone, and here is Rat Gash. Okay, get over here, lads. What are we firing at with our rock lobber? That's not a bad shot, but I'm just so scared of hitting my own troops because we have less of them. You know, we have, but that is such a nice shot. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna give it a go. Oh, hang on. We need to hold this first. That's more important. Can I get you guys firing at Rat Gash, please? Can I get these... Oh, these Quarrelers need to come off the wall. That's really bad. How's this gate doing? Gate damage 5%. That's okay. So the left flank, which was where the most most of them were coming in, is holding really, really well. It's absolutely fine, to be honest. Let's move these guys over here. They're not going to be needed over there. Get the quarrelers off the walls. Thunderers, you are totally wasted there. Come here, please. These guys are getting beat, though. This is not good for them. Let's pull these guys off the walls here. No longer needed. What is he firing at? Is he firing at... Oh, let's just stop him. I can't really get a good angle on anything. That's good. Right there is fine. Right there is absolutely fine. If you can hit that, that'd be perfect. Aha! No, look, there's Ratgash. Let's try and take him out. I go get a full volley on him there. Come on, one guy in the way, of course. One guy in the bloody way. <laughs> Just ruined it for everyone. There we go. Great volley. Just stand there. Hopefully we can Just keep shooting him. Hopefully he doesn't get too... That's perfect. There we go. Those gunners should annihilate him, hopefully. That's the hope. The clan 
How are we doing over here? We're doing great over here. Okay, you guys finish them. You guys kill them. You chase them down. Come this way. Help over here. Okay, this is going really well. Things are looking very, very good. Apart from for Ratgash, who is, who is... Well, he's looking okay. He's looking quite strong there. Sadly. How are you guys doing? I mean, that's a pretty clear-cut shot if you can take it, guys. Nope, we got to move in some weird... Ah, oh, man. I, 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 I really... I'm a fan of artillery in this game, and yet the way they, the AI controls them is just so annoying sometimes. Like, they didn't need to move. Ah, doesn't matter. The victory is ours. The victory is ours, and that's all that matters. Get the gunners straight back up on the walls. Because they'll be able to fire on the guys as they leave. Let's take as many towers as possible, please. To shoot on them as they run. Because there's going to be a lot of them running. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. If they're running across your path, I want them dead. Come on, let's see it. Get those thunderers up on the wall. And as they run, we'll shoot them down. Not everyone going out the wall, sadly. <laughs> yeah, most of them going back this way. Still a very good fight for us. And hopefully that rebellion doesn't come back anytime soon. Still going to exist, sadly. That'll do. That was a good fight for us. Um, <laughs> numbers wise for sure so 25% to over 50% 65, 25 to 65 pretty good battle maybe not quite 65 but not far off kazoo 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 ha the dwarfs have the best language for victory and stuff. It's great. <laughs> and we'll take the leadership bonus. I guess he'll start raiding us again. So hopefully he just attacks next turn. That would be good. Why is everything damaged? Why is everything damaged? I don't understand whether things were damaged there, but... It's not a problem anyway. Um, the moot was sacked. Fair enough. That's okay. Oh, look at this. We're getting replenishment here now. Part of me doesn't want to move now because I'm getting replenishment, which is very nice. Um, move to Karak Ungor. How close are we to upgrading this? Miles away. Absolutely miles away. <laughs> You know what we could do is just move down and sack these. How much is that worth? That's worth 6,000 gold. Definitely a worthwhile endeavor. Um, especially if we can just... Yeah, just get three warriors. That'll be a nine-man squad. I can easily take out Waldenoff. Sure, let's do that. Averland. So what should we do here? Part of me wants to stay put just to get the extra replenishment. Build that, so I'll just increase their... How much to increase it by? 2%. Well, it's only 650 gold. It's better than not 2%. Is my logic. <laughs> um... Because I'd move there if I knew I was getting replenishment, but I, I don't know for a fact that I'm getting it, and that makes me nervous to do so. Onward. Although we're, we're so close to being full health, part of me feels like we should just do it. We lost a... I didn't re realize we lost a, uh, a grudge thrower in that last battle as well. Which is kind of rubbish. You know what? I'm not going to move this turn. I'm going to play it safe, because I'd like to have a good battle against him, and I need all my troops healthy to do that. My anger burns bright. 
give him a grudge thrower as well, I think. Although that'll take a couple of turns to build. Nah, it's gonna be too it's gonna be too expensive and it's not necessary. So we'll skip that, skip that, and pass a turn there. Can't believe the moot hasn't rebelled yet, it's incredible. <laughs> To my throng. I mean, I'll do it for free. Cool. I am Iron Fist. So yes, indeed, no problem. I don't think Barakvar will be around for very long, though. I think they're going to confederate with the Dwarfs very soon. Yeah, there goes Rakesh again. Hopefully I can just auto-resolve this battle this time. Just to get rid of them, because when you auto-resolve it, it tends to just get rid of them completely. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's just do that. Can you imagine if that was a <laughs> if that was a defeat? I would cry so hard. Ah, take a little bit of extra gold, why not? There we go. Mount Gunbad. Saved. Grudge removed. Excellent. Really, really needed because <laughs> our grudges are really in a bad state right now. Five turns? Are you kidding me? It's gonna rebel again before we upgrade. <laughs> um. My axe thirsts for war. Okay, how are we looking? Very close to being able to move. Although the moot's gonna rebel next turn. And it'll be raised the same turn, so we can't really not move now if we want to move. So I'm going to do it now. Let's Moving. go. I am the Slayer King. And they seem to have left Schwarzhafen. Where where is Lothar gone? Jeez. There he is. He'll I'm sure he'll move to defend it next turn though. Hopefully he has a good old fight with Averland, and then we just sweep in to uh, scoop up what remains. That'd be nice. Ah, uh, there we go, Helmen Gorst. He, he got wise to it. He knew what was coming. Very clever. Okay. Um, in that case, there's not much to do this turn. The Slayer in me seeks I'm happy with that. That's a 20-man garrison. I which no vampire is going to beat, I don't think, right now. Not in this current state of them. Yeah, I'm very confident about that. The defense of Karak Kadrin with that sort of level of, of, of army inside it. So we shall instead... We've got our income. Not very good. Definitely going to move to take Schwarzhafen next turn, and then uh, after that we're going to try and sort of pincer in. I just need Mount Gunbad to finish building its, uh, its gold and gem mines, and then this army could be a full army and we could move in from both sides. Sort of pincer them and just take them out one by one. Because they'll divide their forces. But we can't do that yet, so let's pass our turn. I might check out my Oath Gold next turn as well, just to see where we're standing with that, see if I can build any more cool items. I also I need to move a character to work bad, I just remembered, and it's right there, so there's no reason for me not to do it next turn. I should have done it this turn, actually. I should have just sent. I should have sent um, Garim there. And then he could just combine back again next turn. No matter. He could probably do the whole move in one turn, to be honest. He could probably move it out and back in. Oh, is he really coming? 
Wow, okay, that'll be a cool battle. As long as he fights it and doesn't siege me. And just hold. Okay, interesting. I did not expect that. Out of all the things I expected, that was not one of them. Let's see how tough his army is. I hope it isn't too strong. That's made me nervous now. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about that, I won't lie. Let's just uh, see what that looks like. Okay, it's a moderately decent army. It's nothing too special. And that balance bar is even just a little bit out of our favor, even with... Uh, Oh, look at our income. Look how our income's affected by that, though. That's, that's, that is punishing. Okay, Averheim. Welcome, ancient allies. Welcome, ancient allies. Wars are a fine sight to behold. Indeed. How are you doing? You're, you're kind of weak, aren't you? Two settlements. Well, I can't, I need military Sigma, access anyway. Sigma Give me military access, please. You've got, to, you've got to pay for it for me to pass through your lands, though. <laughs> you've got to pay for me to pass through your lands. Right, there we go. It wouldn't even be bad to have them as military allies. Just to make them uh, push forward with me. I think Castle Templehof's the next thing I want to take then, with that being the case. Do we have military access in your lands? No, and you won't give it. I don't really like you guys as much, knowing that you've been friends with the vampires. I'm not going to lie here. Not a fan of them. Let's get Rune of Negation. Absolutely awesome Rune. There is a military presence in Castle Drakenhof. And Hellman's there, and Manfred's here, so it's Luther, so it is their really powerful lord, too. <clears throat> hmm. Making me wonder. What? Sterling, let's see what they have to say. Can we have military access? Please, thank you. Okay, so now I can move into your lands, at least. So let's do that. Let's just move I here. Am the Slayer King. Oh, okay. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get the Slayer Helm. Slayer Crown here. Ready. I don't know how that affects our movement. <clears throat> I don't know how punishing this battle will be. You know what? We'll do it, though. We will do it. Yes. Let's do this battle. To get our Slayer Crown, that's one more thing that will help us. I think you get a public order bonus with the Slayer Crown, which is really nice. I do not remember this fight. Dowie to me. There is no time for grand speeches. The Uskala gather before that shrine. Their evil masters in the midst of some Valaya curse ritual. I want it stopped. Strike them down. Bring me the heads of the craven things lurking in that shrine. Hell yeah. Okay, that's way bigger than the army originally said. Slayers! 
Grind the undead into dust. You know what? Move back, actually. I was going to move forward, but let's move back. Spread the lines. Slayers here. Slayers here. Miners here next to the artillery. I'm going to keep Ungram forward, though. I'm quite happy with that. He likes to get stuck in. Not really great targets there, though. Let's fire on some... Are they on a grave guard? Yes. Let's just peel these warriors sideways as well. Oh, if that Vargulf comes in range, we're going to pepper him to pieces. This is one hell of an army compared to what it said it was going to be. Alright, let's fire on the Vargulf instead. Because zombies are just a waste of time. They die so easy in melee. Let's get rid of that. Oh, yes. That's good. <laughs> get rid of it. Get rid of it. Gone. <laughs> See ya. Can we not fire on this? There we go. Good stuff. All right. That went well. These miners are going to have a bad time, though. Uh, let's get our archers focused on the, these direwolves. Because these miners have no, no armor. So although they'll kill them just as quick, they're going to die just as quick. So we need to help level the playing field. Or they won't be able to help for much more of the game. And that's all it takes. You know, just one quick volley and that should be enough. Well, a couple of quick volleys. But you know what I mean. It didn't take long at all. Let's help get rid of these wolves now. That should be enough for them. Fire into these skeleton warriors. How are we doing? Slayers get round here. I'd really like Ungram engaged now. And get rid of these skeletons. Right, Ungram. We got some lords to kill, man. Is that our own goblin? That was our own rock, rock, rock lover. Not, not poor show. Poor show. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> That's a poor show. Hitting. I mean, come on. We're dwarfs. That's a. That's a really poor mistake to make. Right, let's just hold our fire. No, fire into that. That looks pretty good. Okay, guys, there is loads of guys to kill here. Wow, he killed him so quickly. Uh, the archers will deal with him. You kill this guy. There he goes. See ya. <laughs> let's kill Baron off as well. Good stuff. Okay, that's them dead. Where's the shrine? Do we need to move to the shrine now? Or is that it? <laughs> no, it's just a battle. We don't actually have to move to the shrine. Okay. <laughs> All of the thematics were for naught. It's just a battle. <laughs> and we actually lost really not very much at all there. Thank goodness.
Getting a lot of kills on the Goblobbers. I love that unit so much. It is just a great unit. And we now have the Slayer Crown, which is a big advantage now. As if he wasn't strong enough, Ingram's becoming an absolute demon. Slayer of Vampires. Let's take the leadership because we need any casualty or punishment we can get. Five battles for the Axe of... Oh, look, we completed two quests there. We also got the Axe of Dargo one. Embed a runesmith hero into the following army. That's weird. We already had that, I thought. Oh, sorry. That's that's the next quest. Got you. Quest issued. Move a character to Eastern Oblast. Wow, they had to make it nice and far away, didn't they? Oh, we haven't got the Slayer Crown yet. We still have to move a character to Wiseman. Gee whiz. And they're such good items. I guess it makes sense that it's hard to get them. But I thought that was it. I thought that usually the battle is the last part, right? So I just assumed that that was it, but... Evidently not. Okay, uh... Well, we can't go into... Replenishment stands there, so we'll move to the moot and replenish there instead. Okay. Skip that, skip that, and pass our turn. One thing I've noticed since the patch is that AI has become very balanced, very balanced. But it means that whatever team you seem to be representing tends to do really well because, you know, it takes anything to tip it in their favor. It doesn't take much to tip it in their favor at the moment. And one thing I actually liked about the previous patches was that the forces of evil were, were generally winning, right? The vampires and the orcs, especially on this side of the Mortal Empires map, were just dominating. And I actually like that because I feel like the forces of evil should be OP. If that makes sense, because you want to be struggling against evil, right? If it's not a struggle against evil, then it doesn't make it as epic. Some call me a king. No, thank you. I'm sorry. You're just not a worthwhile ally. But yeah, so I, I would very much like it if they could just tilt it a little bit more so the vampires do dominate, you know, and they do really, really cause issues. Because right now I feel like the forces of good are just too strong. I feel like if left to their own devices, the forces of evil should always win. But at the same time, I'm not saying that they're not they're not underpowered. It's just completely balanced. It feels very balanced at the moment, which is a good thing. I'm, I'm sure most people disagree with me and say that's a good thing because you're getting some really odd campaign maps now. I've noticed really, really odd compared to, to usual. Um, so we're probably going to move to take Castle Templehof um, if we can at some point. It's not got a military presence now. Because Luther's down here. So we could move to threaten it in ambush stance. Uh, and then hopefully they won't move anything to help it. Because they won't see our troops. And then from there we'll move and take Castle Temple off. Which will be a great place to have. Because it's just such a easy access to the rest of their um, their stuff after that. Plus we can hold it. We can just stand and hold that forever. Because they'll never be able to take it. I don't care what they have. They're not taking that off me if I take it. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm going to end that episode though guys, we'll move to Castle Templehof next time, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please like, subscribe, give me a comment below, tell me what you're enjoying or what I could do differently and I will see you in the next one, bye.